Diwali is around the corner. So I thought of showing you how to make jangri, instant jangri using urad dal flour. Come, I'll show you the ingredients. So the ingredients you need to make this instant jangri are urad dal flour. This is, there is one cup. This is about 200 grams of urad dal flour. This is sugar. This is to make the uh, sugar syrup. There is 400 grams of sugar, about 200 grams of water, this is to make the uh, sugar syrup and you need 1 teaspoon of lime juice as well. There is water here for which I will be using to make our urad dal uh, batter, food colour and a piping bag. So the first step is to make the sugar syrup. So for that let's switch on the stove. So to a hot saucepan add 400 grams of sugar and 200 grams of water and let this dissolve. So the consistency for this uh, sugar syrup is from the point the sugar dissolves so and still the sugar hasn't dissolved. Can you see? So once the sugar dissolves and it will start to boil, give it exactly 5 minutes and switch off the stove. That is the consistency. Some people use a one string consistency and all that. But I have found that from the point the sugar dissolves, from that point, set your timer for 5 minutes on a medium flame, let it boil and then switch it off. That is the consistency. See right now all our sugar has dissolved so from this point medium flame let it boil for exactly 5 minutes after that we can switch off the stove and add our lime juice. Now it's been 5 minutes now it's time to switch off the stove and now we can add the lime juice about half a teaspoon to 1 teaspoon enough lime juice mix well and remove the pan of the stove as I said I'm making jangri and I'm using urad dal flour so you don't have to soak the urad dal like 4 hours and then grind it all that is not necessary this is instantly you can make if you have urad dal flour so to our urad dal flour, we'll add one tablespoon of water and mix. We need to make a very thick batter. So we'll add little by little. So I've added one tablespoon. Mix that in well. Let's add another tablespoon of water. Incorporate that in well to 200 grams of urad dal flour and I've got it to this consistency. It shouldn't be too watery and shouldn't be too thick. When you lift it off the whisk, it should fall as clumps like that. This is the consistency. I'm going to add about few drops of food color orange. Orange food color enough. mix well you should make sure there are no lumps so mix well our urad dal batter is now done so let this sort of rest for a minute or two while that is resting let's start the oil Let's heat up the oil. You need oil for frying. So I'm, I'm using a flavorless oil. So the oil is heating up. During that time, let's add our batter to a piping bag. So I put place the piping bag into a glass. So all our batter is in the piping bag. 
now cut the tip off cut the tip off and now to our oil it's heated it's on medium flame now we'll make a junglies Flip it on the other side. Just about two to three minutes is enough. Actually, one minute to two minutes is enough. Now, remove. And straight, let's add it to our sugar syrup. And then into our sugar syrup. So soak it for about thirty seconds. and place it to a serving dish Our jangri is done. This is an instant jangri. You don't have to soak the urad dal for about four or five hours. You can instantly make it if you have urad dal flour. So with one cup of uh, urad dal flour, there is about twenty jangri pieces. So this is perfect for a quick dessert or even for your diwali. Sweet time. So I hope you guys will try this recipe out, and please do try it for this Diwali and let me know how you liked it in the comment section below. So until I see you guys next time with yet another recipe, this is your Vic signing off.